Welcome aboard Disney Cruise Line. Here's a quick look at just some of the exciting places and fun activities waiting for you to explore during your voyage on the Disney Dream. Every evening on board the Disney Dream, you're invited to enjoy a truly unique dining experience as you and your service team embark on a culinary journey through the ship's exciting restaurants. Inspired by the gardens of Versailles, the Enchanted Garden is a whimsical, casually elegant restaurant on Deck 2 Midship, where dining on the seasonally infused fresh market fare takes you on a magical journey from day to night. For those seeking a glamorous night out, the Royal Palace is a tribute to classic Disney films where guests are treated like royalty. Located on Deck 3 Midship, the Royal Palace serves world-class continental cuisine with a modern French influence, making meals fit for a monarch. At Animator's Palette on Deck 3 aft, celebrate the magic of the underwater world with the creativity of our talented chefs in an interactive dining experience like no other on land or sea. In addition to our main restaurants, we also offer Palo on Deck 12 aft an alternative restaurant exclusively for guests 18 and over. Celebrate a special occasion with Palo's open show kitchen, onstage pizza oven, alfresco dining, or just enjoy a romantic meal. Reservations and proper attire are required and an additional charge is applied. Meridian, located on deck 12 next to Palo, is a great place for pre or post dinner cocktails for guests sporting their upscale attire. Serving up incredible views of the sea, along with fine cigars in the outside cigar bar, Meridian is the place for an elegant martini or vintage cognac. Alongside Palo on deck 12 aft is the ship's most upscale dining experience. Remy, a French-inspired culinary delight created by not one, but two award-winning chefs. Vintage wines, cocktails, and cognacs accompany seasonal ingredients and a rare selection of cheeses from around the globe. Remy is for guests 18 and over, and jackets, evening attire is required. Reservations include an additional charge. Our dining room servers will be happy to assist you with our extensive selection of premium wines. Consult the personal navigator for an opportunity to sample wines at our onboard wine tasting event. Tickets can be purchased at the Port Adventures and Guest Services desks. Variety is king at Cabanas on Deck 11 aft. 18 elaborately themed food stalls serve a wide variety of meals, ranging from signature dishes from exotic destinations to comfort classics. Guests can satisfy their sweet tooth with a collection of pastries, pies, and other delicious treats, as well as lighter fare with soups, salads, and freshly prepared sushi. You'll find breakfast, lunch, refreshing drinks, and delicious snacks available throughout the ship, including a 24-hour free drink station and convenient poolside food options located on Deck 11. Check the personal navigator in your stateroom each day for all food and beverage opportunities, including 24-hour stateroom service. Grab a comfortable seat and one of our specialty drinks at Waves on Deck 12 aft. This elongated bar with the cool nautical touch features frozen cocktails, draft beer, wine by the glass, and refreshing soft drinks. And on deck 13 forward, you'll find Currents, where they're ready to deliver a delicious frozen concoction, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, as well as other cool favorites. The beautiful Walt Disney Theater on Deck 3 and Deck 4 Forward is a magnificent tribute to the grand theatrical palaces of long ago and to Walt Disney himself, the man whose dreams have brought joy to so many people. Every night, you'll be transported to another time and place with incredible state-of-the-art lighting, staging, and special effects, taking the Broadway experience to a new level as only Disney can do. The Golden Mickey's A Timeless Tribute is a fun-filled tribute to a dream, a celebration of the wonderful animated films and characters that have filled our lives for over 75 years. Villains Tonight is a whimsical look at the other side of your favorite Disney stories. 
and Disney's Believe is a new musical spectacular that merges incredible illusions with songs from your favorite Disney films to show that magic is all around us. Hoist yourself to Deck 11 for Pirates in the Caribbean. There's a whole new treasure trove of pirate fun for buccaneers of all ages. Little scallywags can set sail with Mickey's Pirates in the Caribbean show. Watch for the all-new Buccaneer Blast fireworks and dance your boots off at Club Pirate. The Buena Vista Theater, with entrances on both Deck 4 and Deck 5, offers a full slate of feature films for every member of the family, including 3D favorites. For start times for the day's films, check the schedule outside the Buena Vista Theater as well as on your stateroom TV. There's fun for the whole family at the D Lounge on Deck 4, featuring interactive game shows like Family Fusion, Pirate's Life for Me, and Mirror Mirror, family-friendly cabaret acts, cooking classes, family dance parties, karaoke, and more. The Vista Cafe on Deck 4 Midship is the perfect internet hotspot to enjoy a specialty coffee or herbal tea while gazing out the floor-to-ceiling portholes and soaking in the breathtaking ocean views and beautiful sunsets. Venture on down to the District on Deck 4 Aft, the nighttime entertainment area on the Disney Dream. Featuring unique night spots, each with its own brand of fun and excitement. This area is reserved for our guests 18 and up only, please. If you're seeking the trendiest nightclub on the scene, look no further than Evolution, with monarch butterfly-inspired aesthetics. Pink is an upscale champagne bar with top shelf bubbly, wines and liquors, along with some sweet dessert pairings. On the more mellow side of the district, 687 is a warm and inviting pub with a modern twist. Featuring its own signature 687 draft brew, along with international, domestic, and micro brews, this is the place to settle back or show up for the big game. This area is reserved for our guests 18 years of age and older from 9 p.m. to a close. For the Jet Set, Skyline Lounge is a cocktail club with dazzling views of the world's great cities out its ever-changing windows. Located on Deck 3 midship on the port side, Bon Voyage is a central gathering place for guests looking for a refreshing beverage before heading out for the day's activities or the evening's fun. Available for private functions, Outlook Lounge on Deck 14 Midship also serves up evening cocktails and an elegant spot to unwind to the sounds of a baby grand piano. On board the Disney Dream, alcohol consumption is allowed for adults 21 and over with proper ID required. Recreation and rejuvenation, that's what it's all about at Senses Spa and Salon on Deck 11 Forward. Uniquely themed chambers and treatment rooms, along with exceptional pampering services for both individuals and couples, make Senses the most stimulating place on board. The state-of-the-art fitness center offers the latest equipment, free weights, daily classes, daily walks on the deck, and personal training, spin classes, and fitness analysis. If you're looking for something special, indulge in an Ocean View Spa Villa complete with an indoor spa treatment suite that connects to a private outdoor veranda with a personal hot tub, open air shower, and luxurious chaise lounge. A perfect romantic getaway without ever leaving the ship. Step into the Senses Rainforest Room and relax in the gentle sauna, mild steam room, aromatic steam room, or fog shower. Choose from a unique selection of luxurious spa experiences, including relaxing hand and foot treatments. All spa and salon experiences are open to guests 18 and older at an additional charge. Reservations can be made in person at the Senses Spa and Salon reception desk or simply call the spa from your stateroom. For teens, the Chill Spa provides an exclusive getaway with teen-specific treatments and salon services, like a hot chocolate wrap, ice cream manicure and pedicure, and fabulous fruity facials. For an invigorating walk in the fresh ocean breezes, two and a half laps of the promenade deck is a mile of seaside exercise. And on the goofy sports deck on deck 13, you'll find a nine-hole mini golf course and ping pong tables, 
plus golf and multi-sport simulators at an additional charge. On board the Disney Dream, you can take your pick from three beautiful pools. Mickey's Pool was created just for children and is shaped like you know who. Donald's Pool in the middle of the ship is for kids of all ages and includes Funnel Vision, a massive big screen to view sporting events and movies by the pool. And for a first of its kind, totally tubular good time, the Aqua Duck takes riders 48 inches or taller on a splash of a ride, two at a time. Please observe all height and age requirements for the ship's pool areas. Additionally, the U.S. Public Health Service requires that all children be toilet trained before entering shipboard pools and spas. To avoid any disappointment from unplanned pool closures, we encourage parents with small children to ensure regular bathroom breaks throughout the day. Nemo's Reef is an interactive wet play area of pop jets and bubblers. This fun fountain area is for children eight and under and requires adult supervision at all times. And when adults feel like a quiet escape or a relaxing break in one of the whirlpools, ease on into the Quiet Cove Pool and Bar, specially set aside for guests 18 and up only, please. Adjacent to the Quiet Cove Pool and Bar is the Quiet Cove Cafe providing adult guests with a quiet spot away from the elements where they can sample fresh pastries, cheeses, and tea biscuits or enjoy a delicious gourmet coffee. For the most innovative arcade on the high seas, look no further than the Arcade at the Aft Funnel on Deck 11, featuring the very hottest games. Our simple debit card system works much like an ATM. You'll find a teller machine located right at the arcade. The cost of the game will automatically be deducted from the card. When purchasing a game debit card, opt for the value card. It gives you more bang for your buck. Your little ones will be in a special world of their own at It's a Small World Nursery. Our nursery counselors are ready for infants up to three years. Call or visit this fun-filled play center on Deck 5 Midship for costs and availability. Children will find almost an entire deck of the Disney Dream devoted just to them, with a wide variety of programs, hands-on activities, and free play for children 3 to 10, plus totally separate offerings for tweens and teens. And since this is a Disney experience, our large staff of counselors will make sure that your child has fun like nowhere else. At the Oceaneers Club on Deck 5 Midship, children can set sail on their own adventure and let their imaginations fly. A workshop and magic play floor sparks discovery in this special place created just for them. Next door in the Oceaneers Lab, multiple computer stations and interactive game tables keep the excitement and energy going. Super sloppy science sessions bring a whole new meaning to hands-on learning. And when they're ready for a break from the action, there's even an open mic night for fun well into the evening. Meals are provided at appropriate times throughout the day. So convincing your children to leave once they're here is the only thing you'll have to worry about. Each child receives a Mickey band while on board for use within the youth spaces of the ship. In each stateroom, complimentary portable wave phones are provided so you can stay in touch with others in your party while on board the ship or at Castaway Key. Please review additional information in your stateroom about the complimentary wave phones or contact the guest services desk before using. For tweens ages 11 to 13 seeking their own getaway, Edge on Deck 13 Midship is a daytime, late night respite with big screen movies, interactive green screen video making, and other activities created just for tweens. Away from the ship's activities for younger children, Vibe on Deck 5 Forward is the place to be for teens ages 14 through 17 looking for their own space and place. It's a great place to relax with a cool drink and meet new friends, escape outside on the Vibe's teen-only sun deck, or just chill in the media room. Vibe is the ultimate trendy hang that's always ready for whatever. Each day on board the Disney Dream, guests 18 and older can choose from a terrific variety of programs created just for them. Check your personal navigator for information on program times and locations. Disney Cruise Line provides a world-class, duty-free, tax-free shopping experience for guests on Deck 3 next to the atrium. 
Whitecaps takes you on a world shopping tour of duty-free watches, jewelry, leather goods, and fragrances. This is also the place to swing by for sundry and convenience items you may need to pick up while on board. Mickey's Main Sale is your headquarters for Disney character merchandise, pirate and princess items, and other themed Disney souvenirs. Sea Treasures is home to Disney Cruise Line and Disney Dream merchandise and collectibles. Who's It's and What's It's on Deck 11 has all your on-deck and onshore supplies from sunglasses and tanning lotions to beachwear and cover-ups. You'll see photographers throughout your Disney Cruise Line voyage capturing special moments that you'll want to remember forever. These photos are available for purchase at Shutter's Capturing Memories on Deck 4 Midship, where you'll find new pictures added to your stateroom's own photo folder every day. You can even build your own cruise book. For information about port adventures on your cruise or to check on availability and sign up for a port adventure, stop by the Port Adventures desk located on Deck 5 Midship. For tips and information about shopping off the ship, stop by Shopping Ashore on Deck 4 Midship. To assist our guests with making the most of their experience on board the Disney Dream, Guest Services is conveniently located on Deck 3 Midship and is always just a phone call away. We hope you enjoy your Disney Cruise Line experience. If there is anything we can do to make your stay with us better, please let us know. Bon voyage and welcome aboard the Disney Dream. Welcome aboard the Disney Dream. Oftentimes, guests have questions about the many services, locations, and activities available on board. For the next few minutes, we'll be reviewing onboard services information and answering some of the most common guest questions. If you have a question and don't find the answer here, or if you're off to have fun elsewhere on the ship, you can find answers to many of your questions by checking your personal navigator, which is placed in your stateroom each day. Or by contacting Guest Services, which is located in the atrium on Deck 3. What can I do at Guest Services? Guest Services is where you can exchange currency, get copies of your shipboard charges, pay gratuities for housekeepers and server team, check on ground transfers, get U.S. Customs and Border Protection information, offer feedback, and discuss any thoughts you might have about your stay with us. Are there charging limits on my Key to the World card? Yes. Guests who are paying cash or have a credit card on file may charge up to a predetermined amount on their shipboard account. After the shipboard account reaches this limit, the credit card on file will automatically be charged or you will be asked to provide cash payment to bring the shipboard account under the limit and avoid any charging disruptions. Please see guest services in the atrium for more details. Is there an ATM on board? There are no ATMs on board the ship. However, ATMs are located ashore at the ports we call on. But please be aware that some ATMs dispense foreign currency only. Guests can cash personal checks up to $100 per person at guest services once per cruise. Where can I get change? You can get change at guest services in the atrium. The rest of the ship is cashless. Where can I do laundry? Is there dry cleaning on board? Please see the Directory of Services for Laundry Facility Locations. For laundry and dry cleaning services, please use the laundry bag located in your stateroom or ask your stateroom host or hostess for assistance. What can I do at the Port Adventures desk? The Port Adventures desk located in the atrium on Deck 5 Midship is where you can get details about available port adventures, booking port adventures, or just to gather more information about the ports of call during your voyage. Where is the medical center located on board? The medical center is located on Deck 1 forward. Please check the personal navigator for hours. If during the course of your cruise you find yourself feeling ill, 
please notify or visit the medical center to get proper treatment. We hope we've been able to answer some of your questions. Please check your personal navigator for more information or contact guest services if you still have further questions. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of your Disney Cruise Line vacation. Hi, I'm Ed and I'm the resident director for Disney Cruise Line Entertainment. We're here in Toronto at the brand new state-of-the-art Disney Cruise Line rehearsal facility. This studio plays a key role in helping our performers learn our shows to create those magical entertainment moments for our guests. Let's go take a behind the scenes look at just how it's done. My name is Rochelle. I'm a dance supervisor here at Disney Cruise Line. I started working for the company in 99 as a performer. In 2002, they asked me to teach the shows for them, so I've been doing that ever since. A typical day for a cast member would be them doing a physical warm-up at 9.30 in the morning, followed by a vocal warm-up, which is really important to get everyone focused in to start the day so that we're ready to go once rehearsals start at 10 and we're focused and we're working from that point on. I've been with Disney Cruise Line for a month and a day, give or take, and it's been absolutely fantastic. I have the best job in the world, I, I can't even lie about it. I get to wake up and sing, I get to dance. It would blow my mind how anyone could think this is less than the best job ever. My name's Corrine, and I'm the production supervisor for Disney Cruise Line. I've been working with the company for over 10 years now. I manage all the rehearsals here in Toronto. Schedules become quite complex with the amount of rehearsals we have. The great thing about this new facility is that it's so large. You can definitely accommodate two casts at once up here, which is really nice. Our green room space is great. They really put a lot of thought and, and planning into the different rooms. We have seven rehearsal spaces, and with two casts in town, we have a lot to accomplish. The seven spaces offer us room to rehearse vocals, choreography, scene work. There's room for all of us to be rehearsing simultaneously. It's really been great to move here to our new facility and, and be able to create so much more entertainment. One of the special things that we can do is we can do stunt work in the studio. We have consultants that teach Spanish web, rappel, sword fighting. I get this giant sword and I love to fight with the sword only because I'm secretly five years old. We're doing a super fast movement. It's so much fun. It's a tremendous opportunity. Here we are at the Magic Hall, one of our two largest rehearsal studios in the facility. This space is actually as big as the Walt Disney Theater stage. I think there's a cast in there learning our trademark show, Disney Dreams. Let's take a look. What was so neat to me was the range of roles. There's so much to do. So I watched the shows and went, oh, Oh yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> Our shows are cast globally, so we get very high caliber of talent here in Toronto. They're excellent dancers, excellent singers. After doing several contracts, you tend to kind of go into uh, a habit of doing things, but with the new people that we that come in with each new cast, it reminds us that we can try different things. It helps us keep the shows fresh. It's amazing how they catch on to puppet work. How they can bring these puppets to life with this animation is amazing. Love watching that. I've never done puppet work before. That's been literally learning a brand new talent, which is really cool and really expressive. It's interesting when, when a cast is here for about 10 weeks and they first arrive, nobody really knows each other. It's nice to see the whole thing grow and transition. Um, by the time we're leaving Toronto, we're a very close-knit group of people, um, almost like a family. I consider some of my best friends now to be from England and the UK and Australia and New Zealand. Everybody has really come together, it's, it's kind of an amazing experience. Leaving your home and your family to come to Disney Cruise Line uh, can be hard at first, but then you realize that you're with the family now. The magical moments, I feel like, happen every time we do a show. You're up there on stage and you see these little girls in the front row, a kiss is blown to them, and you just see their face light up, and, and they look at their mom like, oh my gosh, did you see that? Like, Cinderella just blew me a kiss. I wanted to have a lot of fun and still do what I love. I can't think of a better possible job description or a better group of people to be doing it with. We know that once they build that kind of family community just within the Disney family, 
it really will translate on stage in a magical way. So I think it's really, really a special place to be. Welcome aboard the Disney Dream. Oftentimes, guests have questions about the many services, locations, and activities available on board. For the next few minutes, we'll be reviewing general stateroom information and answering some of the most common guest questions. If you have a question and don't find the answer here, or if you're off to have fun elsewhere on the ship, you can find answers to many of your questions by checking your personal navigator, which is placed in your stateroom each day. Or by contacting Guest Services, which is located in the atrium on Deck 3. How do I use my Key to the World card? As well as charging any items purchased on board to your Key to the World card, you can also use it to unlock the door to your stateroom by simply tapping the designated black box next to the door handle. Once inside, activation of the stateroom's comfort system requires inserting your Key to the World card into the slot on the wall next to the door. This energy conservation feature enables the lighting and television functions inside your stateroom, as well as the heating and air conditioning. When you leave your stateroom, remove your Key to the World card and take it with you. When you return to your stateroom, just insert your Key to the World card back into the slot to automatically reactivate your cabin to your previous occupancy settings. How do I operate my safe? Instructions are listed on the outside of the safe. Each time the safe is closed, you will need to enter a four-digit code to unlock it later. Be sure to select a four-digit code that is easy to remember. How do I check my email or surf the internet? Guests sailing with Disney Cruise Line will find it more convenient than ever to stay connected to family and friends back home by utilizing the ship's wireless internet access. Guests with wireless ready laptops will find several Wi-Fi hotspots throughout the ship, including Vista Cafe, Cove Cafe, most public areas, guest staterooms, and most open areas on the upper decks. There is an additional fee that will be charged to your stateroom. See the Directory of Services for details. As with any cruise ship, connection to the internet is reliant upon satellites. Connections are usually slower than you would encounter on land, and there may be outages from time to time depending upon a variety of factors. Your understanding is sincerely appreciated. What are the portable phones in our stateroom for? Each stateroom provides portable wave phones for complimentary use while on board the ship as a convenient way to stay in touch with others in your party. Wave phones only work on board the ship and at Castaway Key. They will not work off the ship or at any other ports of call. Additional phones are available at the guest services desk located on Deck 3 for an additional rental charge. Please note that there is a $250 charge per phone to your stateroom account for phones that are lost, damaged, or not returned to your stateroom prior to debarkation at the end of your cruise. How do I dial using the wave phone? To dial a wave phone from another wave phone, just dial the wave phone extension, which is the stateroom number plus the wave phone number. For example, to dial the second wave phone for stateroom 8030 from the first wave phone, dial 80302. To call the stateroom from any of its wave phones, dial 41 and then the stateroom number. How do I dial using the stateroom phone? To dial room to room using your stateroom phone, dial 7, then the room number. To reach a number in the United States, dial 8 plus 1 and the area code plus the number you are calling. To place an international call, dial 8 plus 011 and the country code, followed by the city code and then the number you are calling. Toll-free calls cannot be placed from onboard the ship. Please be advised that international ship-to-shore rates apply on all calls. To dial one of the wave phones from your stateroom phone, dial 41, then the wave phone extension, which is your stateroom number followed by the wave phone number. For example, to dial the second wave phone in stateroom 8030 from your stateroom phone, dial 41 8030 2. 
Can I get a wake-up call? Wake-up calls are an automated service that you access right from your stateroom phone. Please dial 32 on your stateroom telephone and follow the voice prompts. How do we use the bunk beds? Bunk beds are recessed in the ceiling and will be prepared during evening turndown service by your stateroom host or hostess. If you need to use the bunk beds during the day, please contact your stateroom host or hostess for assistance. When is room service available? Is there a charge? What's on the menu? Room service is available 24 hours a day, except for the morning you debark off the ship when all guests have breakfast in their assigned dining rooms. There is no additional charge for room service, but there will be a charge applied for any beverages, packaged snacks, wine, and beverage packages. Room service meals are included along with all other meals in the cruise package price. A room service menu is printed in the directory of services located in your stateroom. Can I leave towels and wet swimsuits on my veranda to dry? At Disney Cruise Line, we take safety and protection of our environment very seriously. As part of our commitment to safety, we ask that you remove any personal items from your veranda that present a fire hazard if left unattended or may be blown overboard. Swimsuits and towels may be hung to dry on the clothesline provided in your stateroom bathroom. At no time should anyone ever sit, climb, or lean on any of the ship's outdoor railings. Are there other rules I should be aware of regarding stateroom verandas or the ship's outdoor decks? Children should not be outside on verandas or the ship's decks unless accompanied by an adult. Please be especially careful when moving about on verandas or outdoor decks during rough seas. Since drafts are often created when sailing on the open sea, it's important that the veranda doors to your stateroom remain closed for both your comfort and for environmental reasons. Again, do not sit, climb, or lean on any railings while on board the ship. All of us at Disney Cruise Line are very concerned about preserving the natural environment around us, and we're depending on you to help us protect our beautiful oceans. Please do not throw cigarettes or items of any kind overboard. Can I light candles in my stateroom? For the safety of you and your fellow guests, the burning of candles in staterooms is strictly prohibited. Are there other steps I can take to assist in Disney Cruise Line's commitment to safety? Yes. We also ask that any electrical items such as hair dryers, curling or straightening irons, and other heat producing items you may have brought with you be unplugged from the electrical sockets prior to leaving your stateroom. Occasionally, sea conditions may require that you use special care when moving about on open decks. Also, outdoor decks can sometimes be windy or wet and slippery due to weather conditions. Just remember to hold on to handrails and be conscious that doors can sometimes slam close very quickly. It's also important to move about carefully at night when lights may be dimmed for navigational purposes. We hope we've been able to answer some of your questions. Please check your personal navigator for more information or contact guest services if you still have further questions. And most importantly, Enjoy the rest of your Disney Cruise Line vacation. Welcome aboard the Disney Dream. Oftentimes, guests have questions about the many services, locations, and activities available on board. For the next few minutes, we'll be reviewing dining, entertainment, and youth activities information and answering some of the most common guest questions. If you have a question and don't find the answer here, or if you're off to have fun elsewhere on the ship, you can find answers to many of your questions by checking your personal navigator, which is placed in your stateroom each day. Or by contacting Guest Services, which is located in the atrium on Deck 3. time do children's areas open? Refer to the personal navigator for the hours of availability for all children's areas.
What is available for my child, who is under the age of three? Guests with children under the age of three can enjoy It's a Small World Nursery, as well as Oceaneers Club and Oceaneers Lab during special family time hours. For outdoor fun, head for Nemo's Reef Water Play Area on Deck 11. How will the Youth Activities Team contact me while on board? It is important that parents with children participating in youth activities carry a wave phone with them to receive any necessary updates regarding their child or children. As a courtesy to other guests, when using the phone, please exit the venue while attending theater presentations or dining locations so you do not disturb others around you. Does Disney Cruise Line charge a corkage fee for wine that was not purchased on board? Yes, a corkage fee will be charged to your shipboard account for each bottle of wine brought into the dining room that was not purchased on board. What is the specialty dining charge for Paulo and Remy? The specialty dining charge is a per person service fee and is charged to your shipboard account. We hope we've been able to answer some of your questions. Please check your personal navigator for more information or contact guest services if you still have further questions. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of your Disney Cruise Line vacation. Hello, I'm Bert Swetz, Vice President of the Marine and Technical Operations. At Disney Cruise Line, we are extremely proud of our state-of-the-art ships. Guests always ask about the engine room that powers and propels this massive ocean-going vessel. We put together a brief tour to take you below deck and down into the ship's engine room. We hope you enjoy it and welcome aboard. The ship is equipped with five diesel generators, three V12s configured in the forward engine room capable of producing 14.4 megawatts of power. That's equivalent to 19,000 horsepower per engine, and two V14s in the aft engine room capable of producing 16.8 megawatts of power, equivalent to 22,000 horsepower per engine. That's over 100,000 horsepower powering the ship. Each engine cylinder has approximately 108 liters of capacity. That's roughly 60 times bigger than the average car's engine cylinder. And each engine has a separate lubricating oil system that uses about 650 gallons of lube oil every week. There are two separate switchboards, one for each engine room, which distribute the ship's power to all the machinery on board. Each one is capable of providing propulsion independently of the other engine room. The propulsion shaft is 170 feet long, that's half a football field, and turns propellers that are almost 18 feet in diameter and weigh nearly 22 tons each. The telegraph controls main propulsion by determining the propeller shaft revolutions for speed and in which direction. Additionally, there are five thrusters capable of rotating the ship on its axis and moving it sideways. Each thruster unit weighs more than six and a half tons and generates 4,000 horsepower. That's roughly the same as 200 family sedans. The fuel oil tank gauge is similar to a gas gauge, except that this tank holds 3,300 tons of diesel fuel. Auxiliary boilers are used to generate steam only when there's not enough available from the exhaust gas boiler. Careful use of the boilers is required to maximize fuel efficiency and economy of the power plant. The other aspects of the engine rooms are that we supply all the facilities to keep the hotel operating. That means we have to produce water, we have to produce steam, and we have to produce air conditioning. All of those things go to make our guests comfortable. We have a capability of producing 2,000 tonnes of water a day. At the present moment, I'm standing beside one of our four water making facilities. This is an evaporator. This machine uses the waste heat from the engines and also maybe the waste heat from the boilers to produce water. We create a chamber in which we make a vacuum and in the vacuum we boil the seawater, which boils at about a 70 degrees C, which produces steam and then we condense the steam and turn it into potable water. And we also use the steam to provide hot water 
and cooking facilities for the galley, as well as washing facilities for the laundry. The engineering department team consists of 95 people. They come from all over the world and they bring with them many, many skills. We have electrical engineers, we have mechanical engineers, we have air conditioning engineers, and our general crewmen fill the positions that do the guild work, particularly related to machinery. And without them, we wouldn't be able to run the Disney Dream as effectively as we do. It takes a massive power plant with a state-of-the-art engineering operation to propel this 1,115-foot-long, 128,000-ton vessel at its cruising speed of 22 knots and makes the Disney Dream a top-of-the-line, high-seas performer for Disney Cruise Line. Thank you for joining us on our tour of the engine room. Now it's time to go above deck and enjoy the rest of your cruise. Welcome to the bridge on board the Disney Dream. The bridge is the central command station on the ship and is equipped with state-of-the-art safety, navigation, maneuvering, and communication equipment. Let's take a closer look. The safety control system monitors the extensive network of safety devices installed throughout the ship. This system is tied in to over 8,000 smoke detectors, over 1,000 fire screen doors, and over 70 watertight doors. A touchscreen display allows the ship's captain and officers the ability to zoom in to certain locations to get a better understanding of what's going on in each area on board the ship. The navigation console helps control the speed and heading of the ship. This system is a digital representation of paper charts, and from here we plan our voyages and monitor our passage. A differential GPS determines our position by receiving and calculating satellite signals. A speed log indicates our speed through the water and over the ground. The steering wheel can also be used to manually control the ship's heading as needed. The engine telegraph has two handles that are used to control the propellers at the stern of the ship, which ultimately affects how fast the ship is moving through the water. These also determine whether the ship is moving ahead or astern, the same as forward or reverse in your car. Thruster controls are used to move the ship sideways, mainly during port maneuvers. This ship contains five thrusters, three forward and two aft. These systems display important data regarding the available power for the thrusters, and they also provide information about the rudder and propulsion of the ship. This panel controls and monitors the ship's stabilizers, which are designed to minimize the rolling movement of the ship. Radar is another important tool used to monitor the traffic and weather around the ship. Radar also helps to navigate and fix the ship's position at sea when within range of shore. When the ship is in port, radar can monitor and regulate the ship's movements in busy waters. Some radar features include ARPA, which is used to assist with collision avoidance, and AIS, which gives further detail about the other vessels in the area. As you can see, the captain and his officers use quite a bit of amazing technology every day to ensure a safe voyage for our guests and crew. Thank you for joining us on our tour of the bridge. Now, it's time to go back up on deck and enjoy the rest of your cruise. Welcome aboard the Disney Dream. Oftentimes, guests have questions about the many services, locations, and activities available on board. For the next few minutes, we'll be reviewing general ship information and answering some of the most common guest questions. If you have a question and don't find the answer here, or if you're off to have fun elsewhere on the ship, you can find answers to many of your questions by checking your personal navigator, which is placed in your stateroom each day or by contacting Guest Services, which is located in the atrium on Deck 3. 
What times are the pools open? For onboard pool hours, please see the ship directory information listed in the personal navigator. Pool vests are available on deck, and we ask that they be returned promptly after use. It is also important to mention that children under 12 must have adult supervision in pool areas. Are there any rules for using the ship's pools? Please observe all height and age requirements for the ship's different pool areas. Review the posted rules upon entering each pool area. Due to the ship's motion, pools may become turbulent, so please use special care if this occurs. To avoid any disappointment from unplanned pool closures, we encourage parents with small children to ensure regular bathroom breaks throughout the day, and parents with children in swim diapers to enjoy the Nemo's Reef water play area. Please remember that our no diving rule applies to all pools on board the Disney Dream. Aqueduct is a thrilling high-speed water coaster slide down an enclosed flume that includes sharp turns and sudden drops. It is recommended for two persons. Single riders should anticipate an extended wait time. Our minimum height requirement is 42 inches or taller to ride double and 54 inches or taller to ride single. Persons under 7 years of age must be accompanied by someone 14 years of age or older. Only soft textile water shoes are permitted, and please, no goggles, masks, sharp objects, or loose articles can be taken on this water slide. What are the ship's cleaning and sanitation standards? Disney Cruise Line maintains strict cleaning and environmental standards not only to keep all our ships and the surrounding environment clean, but also to assist in preventing the spread of certain illnesses. Our crew is constantly cleaning and sanitizing the ship, and we hope you'll do your part with frequent hand washing, especially prior to meals. What can I do to ensure my own hygiene safety while on board? Disney Cruise Line encourages both our guests and crew to take personal measures for their own well-being and the wellness of others by practicing frequent hand washing. You'll notice during your voyage that there are hand sanitizing stations located throughout the ship, including when you reboard the ship from our ports of call and at Castaway Key. While we encourage you to use these sanitizing stations, we hope you remember this is not a substitute for frequent hand washing. Why are the ship's shops on board closed while in port? While we are in port, we are required by local authorities to close our shops. However, all shops aboard the ship are open during posted hours while the ship is at sea. Where can I smoke? Smoking is not permitted in any interior spaces of the ship, including staterooms, corridors, restaurants, or theaters. Smoking is permitted on Deck 13, forward, port side, by current, and on Deck 12, aft, port side, which is accessible through the Meridian Lounge. Smoking is also permitted on Deck 4, aft, port side, between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. only. Can I buy Cuban cigars? While you may purchase Cuban cigars at some of our ports of call, it is illegal to bring them back into the United States. Do I need to bring my passport with me when I debark in each port of call? Your key to the world card and a photo ID is required when debarking in all ports of call, including Castaway Key. Also, certain ports of call do require a passport. Please refer to the personal navigator for additional information. How much cash is needed in port? Is cash needed on port adventures? Guests should carry a nominal amount of cash in case they need to take a taxi, buy a souvenir, or purchase a meal. Traveler's checks and credit cards are much safer means of taking your purchasing power on shore. What is the legal drinking age on board and in our ports of call? On board the ship, Castaway Key, and on all Disney Cruise Line booked port adventures, the drinking age is 21. The legal drinking age may differ in certain ports of call. Please contact guest services if you need further information. What do I need when I disembark at the end of my cruise? 
Please have your proof of citizenship and your key to the world card ready when you disembark at the end of your cruise. We hope we've been able to answer some of your questions. Please check your personal navigator for more information or contact guest services if you still have further questions. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of your Disney Cruise Line vacation.